Guardian Games, the latest Destiny 2 event, is yet another disappointment. Before we get into what makes it disappointing, I want to talk about some of the positives. The theme of the event is cool. An event that feels like the Olympics in Destiny? Awesome. The era apparent machine gun? I want it. Being able to wield a Colossus weapon for myself is also really cool. The Hunter Cloak is okay, I guess. But that concludes my list of positives. Now on to why it's disappointing. First, let's talk about the missed potential. When Guardian Games was announced and it resembled the Olympics with its theme, I was under the impression that there would be games associated with it, considering it's called Guardian Games. To load up the tower and find out that it's nothing more than another bounty grind was a massive buzzkill to say the least. Considering this event replaces the revelry that had us going into the verdant forest to complete challenges and had its own unique gameplay loop, the Guardian Games event continues to behave exactly the same as the rest of the game. A bounty simulator. Imagine if Guardian Games had its own unique event. My first thought was a crucible mode that pits titans, warlocks, and hunters all against each other. Three teams of four in a crucible arena. Team Titan, Team Warlock, and Team Hunter. Whichever class wins the most matches, wins the whole event. That's my favorite idea for what a Guardian Games could be, but I've heard some other great ideas tossed around like on this reddit post with sparrow races or completing platforming puzzles the fastest. Or a crucible mode called fencing that gives everyone a sword similar to the scorch cannon game mode. The potential for something really great is out there, and it always is in Destiny. Destiny as a franchise has the most potential out of any video game out there. So when something so cool like an Olympics event comes to Destiny, it's so disappointing to see that the potential was wasted on just another bounty and moat farm. Bungie has done things right with other events in the past like European Aerial Zone, Crimson Days, or the Haunted Forest. These events weren't mind-blowing, but at least they broke up the day-to-day -day grind of Destiny with their unique event. With Guardian Games, we just replay the same content we've been farming for powerful drops. I had a little bit of faith that Guardian Games would be worth logging in for, but besides that exotic machine gun, it feels like just another day in Destiny. I've been having a lot of fun on Destiny 1 lately though. We've been replaying the whole game on a new character on the channel here and you guys have really seemed to enjoy that quite a lot. That series is keeping my love for Destiny alive, and I really appreciate all your support on the videos. Again, I'm always hopeful that Bungie can bring me back to Destiny 2 because, like I said, Destiny's potential is unmatched. If it were up to me, I'd rather Bungie not release a new season or event at all if they continue to come out half-baked. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Are you enjoying Guardian Games? Or have you already moved on? As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, look at that. Eververse has new content. Well, what else is new? Our inventory is stocked, so no rush. Oh man, I want to love this game. I really do. I want to enjoy Destiny too, but Bungie is actively making it so easy to dislike this game. Maybe one day, guys. Maybe one day.